So I live a block away. I walk through my backyard and through the parking lot. It's, it's enough of a commute that I have like a mental space between home and, and the studio, but I don't have to be in a car. I don't have to deal with traffic. I don't have to like have a commute. And I'm here. This is all I want to do. I get to make art all day. All right, should I go? Yep. Ah, let's do this. You know, you might have a vision for how something's going to look, but my best pieces come when I don't know what it's going to be in the end. Paper is a material that I use to get thoughts and ideas out. You know, sometimes the idea comes from the paper, and then sometimes uh, you have the idea and then you have to find the right paper. When I first started, I got a job designing pop-up books. I could figure them out. I could understand how something could open and close. I could see it. I wanted to see what else I could do with paper. Sometimes the work is manifest through a series of curve folds, or it's through a series of repeated forms, or it's, or it's manifest through a modular unit design that, that takes over a field and creates an undulating surface. It's really hard for me, at least, to describe my work in words. I think that's why I make my work, is so I don't have to necessarily <laughs> talk about it a lot. You can just see it. I think one of the entry points to the work is that it is paper, that it is a material we handle every day, and you shift it and you change it into something that you're like, what? It's just paper. Some people might see it and go, this is architecture. Oh, this is like music. Scientists saw my work in a very different way than I ever had. I feel like it's open to interpretation. It's folding, you know. Here, why don't you turn this? The nicest compliment that I could get is that my work gives people a sense of wonder.